Hello and welcome to yet one of our video tutorials for the JD Builder tutorial series. My name is Shaden and I'm with Jim Dev. In this video, we'll look at adding a tabs element to your JD Builder page. Let's go ahead and add that element real quick. In here, we'll select tabs. And by default, you have three tabs, which are, you know, have the basic content and little to no styling. And then we'll, this video will go through styling all of them and, and see what are the options you have. The first thing is the add in label. This is what lets you identify the tab, uh, this element in the back end. So we'll just say tabs test. In the tabs, what you have is you have the content for the tab. You can do an icon and a visible editor to add any content you want. So we'll just style it a little to make sure that works. And we'll select the YouTube icon or you know change the title a bit if you want to so we'll call it services and the second tab we'll call it mm, we'll call it Vimeo and then use the Vimeo icon that's why we're calling it Vimeo and the icons here combined get you over 2000 plus icons so you can pretty much find everything you want and here in uh, tab 3 we'll leave it like this the tab contents let uh, controls or you can delete a tab you can duplicate it and to reorder just hold it and move it around let's duplicate one so we can delete it so there you go we just duplicated it and then we'll go ahead and delete it as well you can add as many tabs you like there is no limit in the tab style, you can select whether you want the tabs to be listed horizontally or vertically. So right now the default is horizontal. You can vertically list them and you'll see how they look. Now the width plays a very important role here. You'll see as I increase the width, the actual width would increase as well, you know. And if I decrease the width, the actual width would decrease as well. Now this is the width for the vertical side. This is the width for this end. So if I change it to, you, you can adjust this basically based on how lengthier the titles for your tabs are. So if I change this to 50, you'll see it just gets much, much smaller. You know, so the standard is like 150 pixels or something like that, where you have good amount of space in here. The colors are just, just the colors itself. You can select a color I'll just say red for the color and green for the mouse over and the active tab would be listed as blue in this case so you know the active tab is blue which is this one the first one green is the mouse over and red for just a regular and you can also see if you want the icon to be positioned to the top or the left and then you can also change the icon size as well to whatever you want the tab typography gives you control over every uh, element as far as the text of the tab is concerned. You can select a different font family, size, and just standard typography throughout JD Builder. The tab padding is how much spacing is inside the tab before content starts. So you'll see if I change it to 20, the content would kind of go in. You know, the tabs, you can see the content kind of goes in. There you go. And then we have the tab content styles. So this was a tab style which is applicable to really just this area here, okay? Now you have the content style which is applicable to this area on the right. So the color will keep this and you know, in, in this here, we'll just select a gray background color. So it's kind of visible as far as where a tab is and how it works and you can kind of see how it works, so. Again, using the right combination, you can really do a good job in creating a great tab, which not only looks good, but functions good as well with a good UX and UI. And then you have the typography. Sorry, I just went down there to add some border and everything. Then you have the typography, which is standard. Then you can add a border. So you can select from a few different border types. We'll just add a solid border and then, you know, you'll see what it looks like. There you go, we have it a border. I'll change the color so you can actually see the border. Border would look good if you didn't have a background color. The border would look really good and you know, kind of like the content is coming from the tab. The content padding is just like tab padding. How much padding is there inside the 
div or the the paragraph where the tab lives so you'll see this will increase to 20 the 10 is standard and what I would recommend as well and that's it about the tabs element that's how you create nice good looking tabs again this is I wouldn't call this this good looking this is ugly tab but that's how you create good looking tabs using JD Builders tabs element if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment in the video down below or post to our forums at joomdev.com thank you for watching